My name is Sean Daly. I'd like to introduce the course Structural Geology and Mining to you potential future students. And um, I, I have a Bachelor of Science in Geology and a Master of Engineering in Mining Engineering. And I have over 40 years of hands-on, practical, intensive field experience. And I will stress throughout the course the importance of learning through experience. You can read about something in a book as long as you like, but until you actually try and implement it in the field is when you really learn. And this course has five modules, which we'll explain in the course of the video. And we had a saying, that, to get back to the experience, we had a saying at Highland Valley Copper, it takes 20 years to get 20 years experience. In other words, there's no shortcuts to gaining experience and learning. This course should be valuable to mining geologists, geotechnical engineers, mining engineers, engineering geologists, and hydrogeologists. Module 1, Stereo Internet Use and DIPS Program. This module explains the use of manual stereo nets and the use of the DIPS program to analyze structures in its approximately 10 hour duration the module. Module 2, Geological and Geotechnical Mapping. This mapping module is approximately 15 hour duration, but the content will help you gather the key information you need for illuminating the other modules in the course. Module 3, Modes of Failure in Open Pits. Modes of Failure module shows the main failure types in a typical open pit mine. And the module duration is about 10 hours. Module 4, Groundwater. The groundwater module deals with the effects of groundwater re-uplift and hydrostatic pressure on failure zones and how to reduce groundwater pressures and monitor them. This module will be approximately 10 hour duration. Module 5, Mining and Society. Mining and Society deals with the relationship between famous natural scientists and major social events like the Industrial Revolution and globalization both ancient and modern, global warming and Mines Act's regulations and also the Aboriginal mining. The following images are an example of the type of photos and videos that will be used in the course to illustrate the curriculum. There will also be more inter interactive exercises. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to sharing my knowledge with you.